Traders, I'm going to finish this day down. As you can see here, my uh, total result for today is down $549. So no big deal. As you can see, I've got a uh, few winners, actually one big winner in MRNA. It's really the only trade I want to discuss today. And the rest, um, one more winner, that's all. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Many more losers than winners. Uh, on the other hand, uh, one big nice winner in mRNA that uh, helped me kind of survive this day with a very small losing day. The only thing I want to discuss today is mRNA. You know, I felt quite sure shorting it under $98. The reason I felt quite sure is, before, is, is because I had a very good idea that mRNA is going to fail moving higher and going to come down. And uh, you may ask yourself, why was I so sure? And that is, of course, my best trade today. Why was I so sure about mRNA coming down? Well, the reason is quite simple. I remember what happened to PFE. Just a few days ago, we had the same announcement in another company. It's PFE. And all you need to do is just remember or go back on the chart and take a look at what happened to PFE. PFE also started, uh, that was on the 9th uh, November. PFE started uh, with a big gap up, uh, came down a little bit, tried to move higher, failed moving higher, came down again. Well, it did not break down under the lows, but uh, MRNA did come down under the lows. But, you know, it's the same idea. You expect a stock that comes out with a fantastic news about uh, uh, a vaccine, uh, great results, uh, vaccine for corona and so on to go sky high. Well, you expected that in P maybe you expected. I don't expect anything, actually. I just watch what the market does and then I follow or I don't follow. But what was interesting in PFE just a few days ago that it tried to move higher, failed, and then came down. Now, the same idea happened today to mRNA. So you just need to go back and remember this kind of cases that happened in the past. The whole idea about uh, of trading is, in fact, going back to the past and digging into your mind what happened when the last time that I've seen ABC that's the whole idea of trading. That's the whole idea of technical analysis. The whole idea of technical analysis is taking a look at technical formation and remembering what was the last thing that happened a few days or a few weeks or a few years ago. Well, you can go to books and they'll tell you. If you've got a cup and handle, if you've got a head and shoulder, it's going to do this, it's going to do that. That is absolutely well known. But the same idea applies specifically for uh, things like I mean, just a few days ago, an announcement in Pfizer about the same solution for COVID, <laughs> kind of same result. They announced they've got more than 90% success. This guy said, I think today, 94%. So stock behaves the same, tries to move higher. A lot of people are buying it, thinking they're going to get rich. And then it reverses. And a lot of people who went long are finding themselves losing money. So, you know, it only looked a little bit worse today with mRNA. I mean, the way it came down. So, you know, just look back, try and remember what happened. I think I was quite surprised seeing uh, PFE a few days ago, trying to move higher. I mean, in my mind, um, not the mind of a trader, because in, in my mind of a trader, I would go with each direction the stock's going to pick. In my mind, as just a regular person, I would think that if a company comes with such fantastic news, it should gap and go and continue going. Maybe I'll go long if it does so. But what happens if it comes down? Well, I would look at it kind of surprised and, well, profit taking. I don't, I don't know what's going on. You know what? I don't care what's going on. That's the whole idea about day trading. I don't know and I don't care. PFE a few days ago decided it wants to come down and fail, continuing to a new high. And Marina did the same. You just need to remember that. It's not only about technical analysis. It's the behavior of a stock. And you have two stocks in a difference of just a few days, a week, in fact, that did exactly the same in approximately the same market because the market a week ago and the market today has not changed much. So, same um, uh, two companies, uh, pharmaceutical companies, same news. Why should you expect something else? Of course, it could have happened. 
but you probably have more than 50% to succeed if you're right doing the same thing that happened to PFE. And once I saw mRNA moving down, look at this green candle here, trying to move higher. This could have been a continuation of an uptrend. Then I would look at mRNA and say, well, mRNA succeeded where PFE failed. Okay. And then after this green candle came another red candle and well, didn't I quite understand what's happening here? It's tried to move higher, failed, came down, came down from the highs, and then another beautiful move down. So that was a fantastic trade, which uh, kind of saved my day. <laughs> kind of saved my day, although I'm red for the day. Well, that's it. Uh, traders, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all tomorrow. So just have fun, and thank you for being here today. Thank you guys on YouTube for following us. See you all tomorrow. Bye.